Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Wafi bin Ahmad Musrab. ID number TC18027. Today I will be present about the importance of the energy management towards the sustainability of this world. Production. Energy management is defined as the process that involve optimization of energy usage for the best possible outcomes and its conservation. It also includes planning for the production of energy and its storage for future usage. The ultimate aim of the process is to save the cost due to excessive energy consumption and to achieve one of the goals pertaining to sustainable development. There are a few steps for the process of energy management. First is collecting and analyzing continuous data. Second is identify optimizations in equipment, schedules, set points, and flow rate to improve energy efficiency. Third is calculate return on investment. Unit of energy saved can be metered and calculated just like the unit of energy delivered. Fourth, execute energy optimization solution. And fifth, repeat step two to continue optimizing energy efficiency. Energy management important. The aim is to conserve and save excessive energy usage turning into cost savings. A proper way of managing energy in a building may save up to 25% of total energy consumption costs. But there are many more elements attached to it. As per a study conducted by US Energy Information Administration, the world's total energy consumption is expected to grow by 48% by 2040. A balance between demand versus supply is essential to manage the cost of a commodity. And this goes also with energy. So, proper management will also ensure affordability of energy usage and its appliance for us in present times and for future generations. So, we move to the case study. This case study is about energy management in multi-purpose facility which is office buildings, shopping center and logistic center. This case study had been done by the BTC City, which is the largest shopping mall in Slovenia. So for the energy consumption, is the electricity is 40 mil kilowatt per year. Heat is 12 mil kilowatt per year. Uh, primary energy consumers is lighting 43%, cooling 20%, ventilation 26%. Natural gas is 300,000 meter cube. Water is 150,000 meter cube. And total energy consumption is 60 mil kilowatt per year. Step to reduce energy consumption is energy consumption monitoring, which is electricity, heat, natural gas, and water. Energy efficiency analysis, which is key energy KPIs indicator. Energy performance and targeting. Uh, the it target uh, energy consumption quantities and costs. Also target the monitoring of the energy consumption of heating and cooling technologies and also alarm in case of consumption or cost deviations. Also, the last one is uh, energy accounting. So, building uh, energy consumption benchmarking, analysis of uh, energy costs, and also energy accounting system implementation. For the case study is energy consumption reduction in the first year of the sol dissolution implementation. The electricity consumption reduction is up to 5%. Water leakage reduction up to 90%. Reduction of energy losses caused by water leakage up to 6%. Reduction of water losses up to 4-5%. Alarming in case of water and gas consumption increase. And support in ISO 50001 implementation. As for conclusion, energy management is essential for dealing with rising costs and regulatory requirements. The earlier we start, the better. At the minimum, companies should keep an eye regularly on the energy data just to ensure things are not getting worse. But ideally, company is con considering energy management as an ongoing effort to find new saving opportunities, engage the employees, and track company progress. Then, 
company will achieve lasting result without investing frustrating hours into manual works.